In this second part of my YouTube video series on how to solve IB chemistry questions in paper one, I am going to continue giving you techniques and tips for moles and concentration questions so that you can do them successfully and well within the time available. In this question, you're asked to calculate the concentration of sodium ions from solutions of both sodium sulfate and sodium phosphate. The examiners have quite decently given you the formulae of these chemicals, so you don't have to work them out. And so you would know, you must know, that the concentration of sodium ions is twice the concentration of sodium sulfate, and in this case the concentration of sodium ions is three times the concentration of sodium phosphate. So let's calculate the concentration of these ions in the sodium sulfate. It's 0.2 times 2 equals 0.4. And in the sodium phosphate, it's 0.4, that's that 0.4, times 3, which is that 3, equals 1.2. So we now have the values of N for the sodium ions. We're now going to put them, and that came from the two formulae which we used previously, which was uh, C equals N over V, N equals C V. That came, of course, from that equation. No, we haven't. We're now going to use those equations. We are now going to use these two equations. So that is uh, 0.4 times. 30, that's that, plus 1.2 times 20, and divide by the, that's this, divide by the volume, which is 30 plus 20, which equals 50. And that comes to 36 over 50, which equals 0.72. Interesting, which gives you this one. Interestingly, if you look at this, we can see that we could have eliminated this one because it can't possibly be the same as the concentration of sodium ions in that solution because we've added a stronger solution to it. And it can't be this one because we couldn't possibly have a solution of this strength if we had mixed uh, that same strength with something more dilute. Okay. Now this one, of course, is the interesting one. And what is it? It's halfway between the 0.4 and the 1.2. It's 0.8. And we could have only got this if we'd used equal volumes of the two solutions. We didn't. We used 30 centimeters cubed there, 20 centimeters cubed there. Therefore, again, the answer is B, 0.72. When you look at this question, your head will probably start spinning as it sees this chemical, rubidium methyl 2 benzoyl benzoate. Forget that chemical, it really doesn't matter. At this level, in these questions, they are asking you about moles and concentration. They are not expecting you to know anything about rubidium methyl 2 benzoyl benzoate or any of its chemistry. Assume that it's the same as sodium chloride, sodium chloride, sodium chloride. And then the rest is easy. You just look at the figures. Okay, it's uh, 0.02 times 100 plus 0.06 times 300 and divide it by the total volume, which is 100 plus 300, which is 400. Just to remind you, the two, con the two formulae that I'm using are concentration is moles over volume. C equals N over V, and then rearrange it to N equals C V. Now, this calculation, which is based first on the N, each of these, number of moles, concentration times volume, then on this one, the total number of moles divided by the volume, and that comes to 20 over 400, which equals 0.05. There we are. 
if you look at the other possibilities, you will again realize that they couldn't be possible answers, 0.01, because it is uh, more dilute than either of the two solutions, so that's not possible. This one, the 0.07, it's more concentrated than either of the two solutions, so that's not possible. The 0.04, of course, again, is the unusual one, and it is halfway between 0.02 and 0.06. And if they had used equal volumes, then that's a possibility, but they didn't use equal volumes. So C, again, is the only possible answer. Some students look at this question and think it's a totally different question from the previous one. But the reality is, it is exactly the same type of question as the previous one, based on the same concept. All you have to do is multiply the numbers together to get 10 by equals 5. Okay? And 20 by 0 0.4, 20 by 0 0.4 equals 8, 30 by 0 0.3, 30 by 0 0.3 equals 9, and 40 by 0 0.2, 40 by 0 0.2. 0.2 equals 8, and 9 is clearly the biggest number, so the answer is C. And this one, some students think that it's different from the others, but it's the same as the others based on the same principle. The one extra thing you do have to notice, and that is there is a simple relationship between the 1.7 and the uh, relative molecular mass 85. Now, they have actually calculated that for you. They've given you the formula and told you what the relative molecular mass is, so that they've made sure you can see that the relative molecular mass is 85. And you have to see that there is a simple relationship between the, the two numbers. And that is that 17 is a fifth of 85, and 1.7 is therefore 0.02. 85 and therefore the number this as a fraction of moles is n equals 0.02 moles. You don't have to write all of this down but I'm just showing you that that simple relationship must be seen by you immediately in order to do this question. The other formula you need to remember is concentration equals equals n over V. Okay. We know N, which is 0.02. They give you the volume and they give you the correct unit, decimeters cubed. So 0.2, which equals 0.1. And that is the answer. Thank you for watching. If you found this YouTube video useful, please go to my part three of how to solve IB chemistry questions in paper one. Thank you.